okay now let's go to question number 11 question number 11 is again based on integration so we just have to integrate this quantity now the simple method see on the right hand side we can see 10x 10x power sum a plus c times 10x power sum other b plus k right so we just have to find out the values of a b c and then add them to give the final answer so as we can see 10x on the right hand side so this is a very big hint that we have to convert this integration to 10x form right so this is how we have to 10x kaise na kaise to lana is question mein, right some or the other right by some or the other way we have to bring 10x so we have cos cube x and we have so i can write sin 2x as 2 sin x cos x so this will become under root of 4 sin x cos x now if i want to convert this under root of uh, 4 sin x cos x to 10x then what i'll do is i'll just divide this quantity by cos square x inside this root only right uh, so basically i am dividing this by cos x so I'll also multiply this by cos x. Okay, so what will happen? Now this will become, this cos x cos x will get cancelled. And this sin x by cos x will become 10x. So basically I'll get, and this cos x cos cube x into cos x. So this will become cos power 4, which I'll take to the numerator. So I'll get six, sec power 4, which I can write it as sec square x into 1 plus 10 square x again 1 plus 10 square x is again x square x into dx divided by under root of 4 10 x all right under root of 4 10 x in fact i can take this 4 outside and write 1 by 2 here under root of 4 is 2 right so just take it outside and now you can take 10 x equal to t or in fact here we have root right so just take 10 x equal to t square so what will be dx sec square x dx will be 2t dt now just put the values so i'll get 1 by 2 integration of sec square x dx this quantity can be written as 2t dt so 2t dt and here i have 1 plus 10 square x so 10 square will be t power 4 divided by under root of 10x which will be t so this 2 will get cancelled with this 2 this t will get cancelled with this t so simple now your simple integration is 1 plus t power 4 dt so this will be t plus integration of t power 4 is t power 5 by 5 plus some integration constant k now what is uh, t t was actually our uh, t is actually root of 10x so i'll get 10x power 1 by 2 and t power 5 so this will be 10x power 5 by 2 and 1 by 5 plus k now from here you can compare and check the values of a b c so what will be a this is a uh, this is the power is b yeah so this is b so what is a a is 1 by 2 b is 5 by 2 and c is 1 by 5 now we wanted to find out the value of a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c will be 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 5 so this will be 6 by 2 3 plus 1 by 5 so this will be 16 by 5 okay so your answer will be 16 by 5 what is which is the option 16 by 5 is option 1 so correct answer is option 1 16 by 5 so this was a very easy question all you have to do is just convert everything to 10 as soon as you convert everything to 10 the question just evaporates like this right now going on to question number 12 question number 12 says that there is a point represented by 2 plus iota in the argon plane moves one unit eastward uh, then two units northwards and finally from there two root two units in the southwest direction then the new position of the okay so we have to find out the new position of that point okay so let's draw the coordinate axis is our point is 2 comma 1 so let me say 2 comma 1 is somewhere here 2 comma 1 now from there this point is 2 comma 1 right now from there i am moving one direction eastward 
okay so one unit in the eastward direction we change the color so one unit in the eastward direction so this point will be 3 comma 1 the new point and from there I'm moving northwards in two units so two units towards the north direction so this point the new point this will be 3 comma 3 right and finally from there I'm moving 2 root 2 units in the southwestward direction right so at an angle of 45 degree so if I'm moving in southwestward direction like this and that too so what is this length this length is 2 okay what is this length this length is 1 and I want to move 2 root 2 units right so if I'm moving 2 root 2 units if I take a point which is 1 unit from here okay then this uh, this length will also become 2 this length is also 2 and this will uh, complete a right angle triangle so this hypotenuse will be 2 root 2 okay so 2 root 2 so our final destination our final point should be somewhere here which is 1 unit uh, towards the west side of the our original point that is 2 comma 1 the original point say 1 unit towards the west so this point will be 1 comma 1 okay so 1 comma 1 is 1 plus iota so f just from the diagram itself you can interpret right no need to apply complicated formulas and all 1 plus iota a simple answer all right so this was a very easy question right again you can't afford to miss this question in examination because people who are not solving the questions are very less right who will get selected into IITs or maybe in J means right question number 13 question number 13 is uh, consider the two statements P is if 7 is an odd number then 7 is divisible by 2 okay so we have to basically find out v1 is the truth value of contra positive of p and v2 is contra positive of q okay so let let me write down v1 and v2 v1 is contra positive of p now p is that this implies this okay in in p it's given that 7 is odd number implies 7 is divisible by 2 so what is contra positive like if i have a implies b Contra positive of this thing is not B implies not A. Okay, contra positive is not B implies not A. So, contra positive of A implies B is not B implies not A. So, basically V1, V1 is contra positive of P. So, this will be 7 is divisible by 2. So, I'll write 7 is not divisible by 2 implies 7 is not odd so I'll take negation and then reverse the order right here also I'll take negation so 7 is a prime number okay so first I'll write this 7 is an odd number so 7 is not odd implies 7 is not prime so if a number is not odd is it is it necessary that it is not prime also like suppose uh, 2 is not odd 2 is even right but still it is prime so v2 is definitely false v2 is false because of 2 right 2 is not an odd number but still it's prime so it's not necessary that if a number is not odd it's not prime this is not true at all this implies implication fails now it is also given that 7 is not divisible by 2 so if there is a number which is not divisible by 2 okay if a number is not divisible by 2 then it is an odd number but in the statement it says that 7 is not odd so again this statement is also false so both are false right v1 and v2 both are false so contra positive of p and q both are false okay so answer will be option 3 so again this was an easy question number 14 let's go to question number 14 shortest distance between the lines so this is a direct formula based question so there are two lines let me say this is L1 and this line is L2 so we have two lines simple see two line hai. Ab, uh, one line is there is uh, there is a point on this line let me say this point is A which is 0 comma 0 comma 0 
इस लाइन पे जो पॉइंट है दैट इज माइनस टू फोर फाइव दिस पॉइंट इज लेट्स ए बी डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस लाइन इज गिवन डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस लाइन इज ऑल्सो गिवन डायरेक्शन हियर इज टू टू वन डायरेक्शन हियर इज माइनस वन एट फोर सो बेसिकली वॉट आई टू डू इज आई जस्ट हैव टू टेक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस ए बी ओके आई जस्ट हैव टू टेक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए बी ऑन द नॉर्मल वैक्टर ऑन अ वैक्टर विच इज पपेंडिकुलर टू बोथ द लाइन्स सो बेसिकली दिस दिस नॉर्मल वैक्टर आई कैन फाइंड आउट बाई टेकिंग क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू वैक्टर्स लेट मी से दिस इज पी वैक्टर एंड दिस इज क्यू वैक्टर द डायरेक्ट डायरेक्शन सो लेट मी टेक क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ डायरेक्शन सो वैक्टर एन विल बी पी क्रॉस क्यू एंड देन आई विल टेक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए बी शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस कैसे निकालते हैं प्रोजेक्शन सिंपली टेक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए बी वैक्टर ऑन दिस एन विच इज पी क्रॉस क्यू अब प्रोजेक्शन का फॉर्मूला मैंने अभी अभी बताया था पिछले सवाल में जब आया था ए बी डॉट एन जस्ट टेक डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू एंड डिवाइडेड बाई मॉड ऑफ एन ओके मॉड ऑफ नंबर दिस वैक्टर विच इज प्रेजेंट आफ्टर ऑन ऑन के बाद जो भी वैक्टर आया उसका मॉड ले लो नीचे दैट्स हाउ यू फाइंड आउट प्रोजेक्शन राइट सो दिस क्वान्टिटी सो लेट्स फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट एन वैक्टर दिस विल बी पी क्रॉस क्यू तो अगर P क्रॉस Q करोगे तो n आएगा दिस विल बी जीरो माइनस नाइन एंड एटीन और राइट दिस इज एन वैक्टर एंड देन फाइंड आउट ए बी वैक्टर ए बी वैक्टर इज एज जस्ट ओरिजिन राइट सो b वैक्टर सो माइनस टू फोर फाइव नाउ टेक डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द टू सो आई विल गेट हाउ मच इफ आई टेक डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू ए बी डॉट एन डिवाइडेड बाई मॉड ऑफ एन सो हियर इन द डिनोमीटर आई गेट नाइन स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस ए बी डॉट एन सो माइनस नाइन इंटू फोर प्लस एटीन इंटू फाइव एंड देन मॉड सो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई दिस आई गेट सिक्स बाई रूट फाइव ओके दिस विल बी द आंसर just simplification part right 6 by root 5 and 6 by root 5 lies in which interval so 6 by root 5 will be approximately 2 point something root 5 is 2.2 so 6 divided by 2.2 so this will be between 6 by 2 and 6 by 3 6 by 2 is 3 and 6 by 3 is 2 theek hai to 2 aur 3 ke beech mein matlab 2.2 something hoga ye So 2.2 means between 2 and 3. This option is correct. Option one between 2 and 3. Okay. So again, a easy question of projection. Just simply formula based question. Formula. If you remember projection, then it will be easy. Question. Question number 15. Now this is a good question. Okay. This question says that x y z is positive real numbers and x plus y plus z is 12. Now see. Hint lies here, right? X, Y, Z are positive real numbers. Now, if numbers are positive, then I can I can apply the concept of A M greater than G M. Right? So this question was based on A M greater than equal to G M. Now we know that here I have x cube, y power four, z power five. That means x is multiplied three times, y is multiplied four times, and z is multiplied five times. So basically, I'll have to create some terms like this. So what I'll do is I have x plus y plus z. इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व तो इसी को थोड़ा सजा के लिख लेते हैं आई वॉन्ट एक्स थ्री टाइम्स राइट सो आई राइट एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस एक्स बाई थ्री आई वॉन्ट वाई फोर टाइम्स सो आई राइट वाई बाई फोर वाई बाई फोर वाई बाई फोर प्लस वाई बाई फोर एंड आई वॉन्ट जेड फाइव टाइम्स सो जेड बाई फाइव 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 पाँच बार ओके फाइव टाइम्स Now I'll apply am greater than gm on these numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On this twelve numbers, right? So I have this twelve positive real numbers on which I'll apply am greater than gm. So if I apply am, what is am? Am is arithmetic mean. So the sum of all the numbers divided by twelve. This will be greater than equal to gm. Gm means I will multiply all of them. So if I multiply, I will get x cube by three cube, then y power four by four power four, z power five by 
5 power 5 this is the multiplication and whole raised to the power 1 by 12 okay whole raised to the power 12 numbers are there right so 1 by 12 so this will be uh, uh, this will be geometric mean so this summation right which is written right here this is nothing but 12 I know x plus y plus z is 12 so this 12 12 will get cancelled so this will become 1 okay so 1 and this power 1 by 12 I can take to the other side so it will become 1 power 12 so that's 1 1 power 12 is 1 so I'll get x cube y power 4 z power 5 divided by 3 power 3 4 power 4 can be written as 2 power 8 right and 5 power 5 so from here I'm getting x power 3 y power 4 and z power 5 this will be less than equal to 2 power 8 3 power 3 and 5 power 5 let this be equation number 1 now what is given in the question let's have a look what is given in the question it's given in the question that this quantity is equal to 0 0.1 into 600 power 3 right so x cube y power 4 z power 5 this is equal to 0 0.1 into 600 power 3 so this is uh, 1 by 10 right so 5, 5 power minus 1 2 power minus 1 uh, 3 to the 6 so 3 power 3 2 power 3 and uh, 5 square so 5 power 6 2 power 6 now if I simplify this I'll get 6 3 9 minus 1 so 2 power 8 3 power 3 and 5 power 5 which is exactly same as this quantity right so from here I'm getting that x power 3 y power 4 and z power 5 is equal to this quantity right so if I compare this two equations here I have equality and here it says that this quantity is less than equal to this so this is possible only when this equality is uh, this equality holds right and when this equality will hold this equality will hold now we know that am will be equal to gm when will am be equal to gm am is equal to gm only when the numbers on which am and gm was applied they are equal so on what numbers uh, am gm was applied it was applied on x by 3 y by 4 and z by 5 these are the different numbers that were present right so basically numbers will be equal if am is equal to gm then all numbers are equal that means x by 3 will be equal to y by 4 will be equal to z by 5 and we know that x plus y plus z is 12 so that's why the value of x will be 3 value of y will be 4 and value of z will be 5 okay so x y z so i can directly find out the values of x y z itself and now in question they have asked x cube plus y cube plus z cube so this will become 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube and if i simplify this i'll get 27 64 125 and this will be 216 which is option number 2 216 which is option number 2 so option 2 is the right answer so this question was based on am and gm right inequalities